This interview is being brought to you by BabyFightGear.com. Baby Fight Gear is dedicated to providing a single source for children's mixed martial arts. Inspired clothing, the softer side of tough sports. Our clothing is available in sizes newborn to toddler. Let's bring in Matt Ricehouse. How's it going, man? Uh, pretty good, how are you? I'm doing good. So uh, the first thing we should uh, talk about is the nine-month layoff. What's up with that? Uh, well, it wasn't really up to me. They had offered me a fight pretty soon after I had fought last time in November, and uh, it was just so soon that uh, we weren't really ready for it. And since then, it's, uh, they haven't had very many shows, so this is the next opportunity we got. Okay, man, and a lot of guys have been uh, getting their temporary release from Strike Force just so they could uh, get another fight in. Did you ever consider that? Yeah, uh, we had been talking with them. Um, we just thought something was going to come up, and, um, you know, we had been hearing that other people were doing that kind of thing, too, and uh, it just, this is what came up first. You're the only fighter to get a win over Ryan Kachur, and he's on quite the roll right now. Do you think with every win he gets, your stock rises a little bit? Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, I, I, I definitely want him to do well, so you know it'll, it'll make me look better for sure. But um, you know, I want him to do well because I'm a fan of him. But uh, I, I think with every win you have over somebody, or every time they have a win, you know, of course it will make you look a little better. Hopefully, you know, people will wonder where that one is on his record, who that was, and and my name will come up. And are you surprised by his success, or does it not surprise you? No, I do. He's, he's awesome. I, I'm a big fan. And uh, same with my last fight, Bill Cooper. I'm, I'm a fan of his, too. But uh, I really like watching Ryan fight. He's, he's great. I think he's going to do, do awesome in the sport. And I, I like watching his fights because he's just like me. But I, I think he... Um, but he he put things together really well. I I want to be able to put things together the way he does. You know, I I won in that fight. I definitely think I was a better fighter that day. But you know, I I really admire the way he puts everything together. And it was uh, a big concern of mine going into that fight. I, I thought he was you know uh, much more well-rounded, and I proved a little bit to myself in that fight. But you know, I I'm a big fan of how he puts it all together. Awesome, man. So you're six and zero. You're four and zero in Strike Force. Is this fight against Bobby Green, do you think this is a step up in competition? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know anything about the guys that they give me. You know, I, I get the research in a little bit. You know, this is short notice and all, but they aren't going to give me easy fights. They haven't yet, and I don't expect anything. You know, I don't expect any fights to... Uh, I don't expect any easier fights than the ones I've had. I think every time they're going to give me guys that are going to test me, you know? Yeah, for sure. They haven't been uh, giving you any uh, cream puffs, that's for sure, right, man? Right, yeah, and I don't, I don't even think they have anybody signed now that's going to be a walk in the park. I, I think everybody's going to put their hands on my face, and that hurts. Okay, so you mentioned you've done a little bit of research on Bobby Green. What do you think is his most dangerous part to his MMA game? Um, I guess uh, the... I, I really didn't get to watch a lot on them. Um, there's not a lot out there, and we weren't able to get any footage, you know, from Strike Force or anything. But um, from what I hear, is uh, he keeps a lot of pressure, and he's more athletic than anything. And then he just has a lot of fights. He's really experienced, and I, I mean, he probably has, you know, maybe I think I've heard he has like maybe four times as many fights as me. So that's just a lot of experience that goes a long way. Yeah, I think this is a matchup of two guys that are really on a roll here. Um, like we mentioned, you're 4-0 in strike force. He's won three fights in a row in strike force. What will your keys to victory be in this fight? Um, you know, I I didn't really prepare too much specifically for him, so same as always, just be as well rounded as possible. I'm not spectacular in anything, so I, I keep it pretty basic and if I'm better at all the basics than he is, uh, you know, I'm in great condition. I'm sure he will be too, but that's always worked out great for me, pushing fights into the third round. Um, you know, if I can push a fight into the third round and I keep on all the basics, I think I'll eventually catch him in that place he won't want to be in. We're uh, three days away now from the official weigh-in for Strike Force this Friday. 
How much weight do you have to cut from now to then? Uh, I, I don't even have to. Oh, awesome. So you're right yeah. on weight already almost, eh? Yeah, you know, with having the time off and stuff, that's kind of something that I was considering is making myself more valuable to to fight. And, you know, I was wanting to open up my opportunities to fight, you know, in another weight class. I, I thought maybe even making 45 was an option. And I was probably closer to making 45 than I was a 55er for this fight. But now my weight's back up. I'm, you know, I'm right on where I should be. Every fight I've had a 55, I, I cut maybe 5 to 10 pounds, and now this is, I'm just a little bit lighter, so I just don't have to cut this time. That's great to hear, man. Um, so in the future, that's something you'd be interested in doing, eh? Drop into 145? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think I can do it. Um, if I if I cut 5 pounds for a one weight class and I can walk around 5 pounds lighter and just cut 10 for the next one, then why not? And I'm not trying to make the drop. I want them... I just want fights, you know, I, I want them to be able to use me. And if they didn't have a lot of fights at 55, I just want to make myself available at 45. And they end up getting me one at 55, and it's all the same to me, just to, to be able to get a fight. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, your first three fights were stoppages. Your next three were decisions. How important is it to get the finish in this fight? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't ever go into it. You know, with um, I'm gonna knock this guy out. I'm gonna submit this guy. I don't know. I I put everything I have into every fight, and I try to finish all the guys, but they're just getting tougher and tougher. You know, then like we said, that these guys aren't cream puffs. So I think it's working. Right, right, right. You know, right. They're, they're they're equally trying to finish me, and it's it's like kill him before he kills you. They're they're you know fighting for their life out there, it's, and it's just not easy to finish guys. I feel like I'm going forward. I, I mean, I'm pushing all the way to you know, the, the end of the third round, but they're just, nobody's falling over, and, you know, they're getting tougher and tougher, and I, like, I don't know, maybe I won't finish the guy, maybe I will, I think I can finish him anywhere, but they're all going to be tough guys, I, I don't know if anybody's just going to fall off and, you know, let me grab all their neck or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Okay, so uh, just talk to me about your training, some of the guys that you've been training with for this fight, and uh, who will be in your corner Saturday night? Um, well, I... Same team I've always trained with, uh, St. Charles MMA. Uh, my coach, Mike, he's the head coach. He's going to be in my corner. Um, good friend of mine, Al. He's another pro fighter for my team. And uh, he's, I've been doing a lot of training with him. He's uh, going to be um, my my wrestling uh, eyes because he's worked on a lot of wrestling with me. Uh, he's a great wrestler. And he's going to be kind of coaching me through all that. Um, you know, every little position I get in, scrambles and cage work and all that, he's just going to be, you know, keeping me on my toes there. And then um, I, it was just on short, such short notice, I didn't, I wasn't able to get my other coach, Rodrigo Lagi, he wasn't able to make it out for this, so I'm going to have my dad in my corner because he's always real supportive. He's probably my biggest fan, so he's going to be in my corner as well. Yeah, that's very cool, man, very cool. You mentioned uh, short notice. How short notice was this? When did you learn about this fight? Uh, it was beginning of the month, about, well, wow. about 20 days, 20 days on this. Okay, before we let you go, just give me a prediction on your fight. How will it finish? I predict submission as soon as I can possibly get a hold of one. Awesome, man. We appreciate the time. Any sponsors you'd like to promote or throw at your Twitter or Facebook? Um, yeah, I mean, my uh, Facebook page is, uh, you know, just, Matt Rice House, that's my fighter page. Uh, I, I really need to get on the Twitter more. I, I don't get on there too much. But um, for sponsors, again, such short notice, it's really hard to come up with anything. So this is going to be my second time in a row being a Strike Force plastic fighter. I'm just going to be wearing all their Strike Force gear this time. Okay, man. Well, best of luck Saturday night, and I appreciate you giving us the time. Thanks very much, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for the luck.